Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Electronics Make It Easy. In this video, we are discussing about parallel RSI circuit and its resonance. In the first part of the video, we will discuss about different parameters in parallel RSI circuit followed by the resonance condition for the parallel RSI circuit and finally a problem that discuss all the parameters related to parallel RSI circuit and resonance. This circuit is a parallel RSI circuit with a pure resistance R, pure inductance L and a capacitance C. An alternative voltage V is connected in parallel with these three components. Then a current IR will flow through this resistance and its value is the ratio between applied voltage and resistance. Then an inductive current IL will flow through the inductance and its value will be the ratio between applied voltage and inductive reactance XL where XL is equal to omega L. Similarly, current through the capacitance XC is the ratio between applied voltage V and capacitive reactance XC where XC is equal to 1 by omega C. Let IT be the total current from the voltage source. We know that when an alternative voltage is applied across a resistance, the current through the resistance and applied voltage will be in phase, but in inductance, the current through the inductance IL will be lagging with respect to the applied voltage by an angle 90 degree. Then in the case of a capacitance, current will be leading with respect to the applied voltage by 90 degree. The current through these three components, IR, IL and ICR in three different directions. In order to find the net current drawn from the voltage source V, we have to find the resultant between IR, IL and IC. Here IL and IC are in opposite direction. The vector sum between IR, IC and IL is to be found. For that we have to use a triangle called current triangle in which the current through the resistance IR is drawn in phase with respect to the applied voltage V and the difference between IC and IL is drawn perpendicular with respect to the applied voltage V. Now the resultant current will be the vector sum between IR and IC minus IL. In order to apply Pythagoras theorem, consider this triangle as triangle OAB. Then we know OA square is equal to OB square plus AB square. Let the total current is IT. Then IT square is equal to IR square plus IC minus IL the whole square. Then IT is equal to root of IR square plus IC minus IL the whole square. In this triangle, the parameters IR, IC and IL are the ratio between voltage and resistance or reactance. If we replace this current by this ratio V by R, then V by XL and V by XC, the voltage is common. Now we can draw another triangle in which the IR is replaced by 1 by R, IC is replaced by 1 by XC and IL is replaced by 1 by XL. That is G is equal to 1 by R, it is called the conductance. Then BC is equal to 1 by XC, it is called the acceptance of capacitance and BL is equal to 1 by XL, inductive acceptance. From this triangle we can write y square is equal to g square plus b square then y is equal to root of g square plus bc minus bl the whole square that is y is equal to root of 1 by r the whole square plus 1 by xc minus 1 by xl the whole square on expansion y is equal to root of 1 by r square plus omega c minus 1 by omega l the whole square we know the relation between admittance y and impedance z that is z is equal to 1 by y therefore impedance z is equal to 1 by root of 1 by r the whole square plus omega c minus 1 by omega l the whole square. These are the parameters related to parallel RLC circuit. Now we are going to discuss about resonance in the parallel RLC circuit. Similar to the resonance in series RLC circuit, here also at resonance the reactance of the circuit becomes zero. The current drawn from the source will be in phase with the applied voltage. The frequency at which resonance happens is called resonance frequency F0. In parallel RLC circuit also at resonance the inductive reactance XL will become equal to the capacitive reactance XC. In other words, its net acceptance will become zero. That is B is equal to zero, where B is equal to BC minus BL. That is the difference between acceptance of capacitance and acceptance of inductance. We know the equation for admittance Y is equal to 1 by Z. That is equal to root of G square plus BC minus BL the whole square where BC is the capacitive acceptance that is equal to 1 by XC and BL is the, the inductive acceptance that is equal to 1 by XL. At resonance BC minus BL will equal to 0 therefore admittance Y will be equal to G that is admittance G is equal to the conductance that is BC minus BL equal to 0 
that is x l equal to x c that is 1 by omega l is equal to omega c that is omega square equal to 1 by l c that is 2 pi f0 whole square is equal to 1 by l c that is resonance frequency f0 equal to 1 by 2 pi root l c so at the resonance the impedance of the circuit will equal to r so the current drawn from the circuit will be equal to v by z that is equal to v by r and this will be the minimum current drawn from the circuit the resonance in the parallel circuit can be explained using the frequency response diagram for that the frequency plotted in x axis in y axis impedance sex acceptance and current are plotted the relation between capacitance acceptance and the frequency is a linear relation then the relation between frequency and the inductive sex acceptance is non linear at a particular frequency the magnitude of capacitance acceptance will become equal to the inductive sex acceptance bl at that frequency the resultant sex acceptance b will be equal to zero this particular frequency is called the resonance frequency f0 at f0 the current drawn from the voltage source will be minimum and its value is v by r if you are plotting the impedance with respect to the frequency the maximum impedance will be at the resonance frequency and its magnitude will be z is equal to r now we are going to discuss a problem related to parallel rc circuit and resonance for that consider a parallel rc circuit made by resistance 100 ohm inductance 50 milli henry and capacitance 10 mu let ir be the current through the resistance il be the current through the inductance and ic be the current through the capacitance and total current is it the applied voltage is 230 volt 50 hertz then we are going to find inductive reactance capacitive reactance current through each component in the circuit current phasor diagram total impedance of the circuit then the resonance frequency collective factor bandwidth total current at resonance and current through each component at resonance first we are going to find the inductive reactance we know inductive reactance x l equal to omega l that is equal to 2 pi f into l that is 2 into 3.14 into 15 into 15 into 10 raised to minus 3 that will give 4.71 ohms then the capacitive reactance x equal to 1 by omega c that is equal to 1 by 2 pi f into c that is 1 by 2 into 3.14 into 15 into 10 into 10 raised to minus 6 that gives 318.47 ohms now we are going to find the current through each components we know the resistance value r is equal to 100 ohm inductive reactance xl equal to 4.17 ohm capacitive reactance xc equal to 318.47 ohm now the current through the resistance ir is equal to the ratio between voltage and resistance that is equal to 2.3 ampere then current through the inductance il is equal to ratio between voltage and inductive reactance that will give 48.83 ampere then the current through the capacitance ic equal to the ratio between voltage and capacitive reactance xc that will give 0.72 ampere current phasor diagram we know resistance is equal to 100 ohm inductive reactance is equal to 4.71 ohm capacitive reactance is equal to 318.47 ohm then current through the resistance is equal to 2.3 ampere inductive current 48.83 ampere and the capacitive current is equal to 0.72 ampere in order to draw the phasor diagram the current through the resistance ir is drawn in the x axis then capacitive current ic is drawn in the y axis in upward direction and inductive current il in y axis in downward direction then the resultant current it will be the phasor sum between ir and ilc where ilc is equal to il minus ic that is equal to 48.11 ampere now total current it is equal to root of ir square plus il minus ic the whole square that will give 48.16 ampere now we are going to find the phase angle between the applied voltage and resultant current it we know tan phi is equal to il minus ic divided by ir then phi is equal to tan inverse of il minus ic divided by ir that will give 1.52 degree then the total impedance of the circuit we know the admittance y is equal to root of 1 by r square plus 1 by xc minus 1 by xl the whole square then impedance z is equal to 1 by y that is equal to 1 by root of 1 by 100 square plus 1 by 318.47 minus 1 by 4.71 the whole square and the result will be z is equal to 4.775 ohms 
this quantity can be verified using total current and applied voltage that is z is equal to the ratio between applied voltage and the total current that is 230 divided by 48.17 that will give the same quantity 4.775 ohms now we are going to find the resonance frequency f0 we know at resonance xl equal to xc or inductive acceptance is equal to capacitive acceptance then the equation for resonance frequency equal to 1 by 2 pi root lc that will give 411.14 hertz as the resonance frequency now we are going to find the quality factor at the resonance frequency we know the equation for the quality factor q is equal to r by xl or r by xc that will give 21.23 then we are going to find the bandwidth of the circuit at the resonance we know the equation for bandwidth bw is equal to resonance frequency divided by q that will give 411.14 divided by 21.23 that is 19.36 is the bandwidth next we are going to find the current at the resonance we know the equation for current it is equal to v by z so at the resonance z is equal to r therefore it is equal to v by r that is 230 divided by 100 equal to 2.3 ampere that is the current drawn from the source at the resonance now we are going to find the current through each component at the resonance we already found the total current at resonance it is equal to 2.3 ampere and the same as the current through the resistance now we are going to find what is happening in inductance and capacitance we know the capacitive reactance xc equal to 1 by 2 pi f into c that will give 38.72 ohms so the current through the capacitance ic equal to v by xc that will give 5.94 ampere then inductive reactance xl equal to 2 pi f into l that will give again 38.72 ohms so the inductance current il is equal to v divided by xc that will give the same figure 5.94 ampere so at resonance a current will flow through the capacitance and inductance and its value is 5.94 and the circuit formed is called lc tank circuit and this current is constituted by the charging and discharging of capacitance through the inductance i hope you have understood all the relevant terms related to parallel rc circuit and resonance and you may acquire a confidence for solving all the problems related to parallel rc circuit and resonance thank you for watching Please like the video, share the video, comment your doubts and subscribe the channel. Thank you.